All right, so I got a fish hanging right now. I'm gonna throw it on the live bait set up momentarily. Ooh. I might have more than one, just maybe. Oh yeah, we got a few, wow. This works really well. Okay, um, I don't really have a de-hooking tool, which in hindsight might be a good move. So we're gonna do our best to safely release all but one of these fellas. All right, they've messed up my sabiki pretty, pretty bad, but we're gonna see what we can do. There goes one. Oh, that one's mine. Hold on, partner. Hold on, partner. There you go. Okay. There you go. Boom. We gotta try to touch this fella as little as possible. Just one quick little nose ring. Boom. Just like that. Okay, there he goes, and now he's waking up nice. Now we're away from the kelp. We can afford to let more line out here, so we will. Now I'm gonna paddle with my reel open. Okay, boom. Right, let's check our drag real quick. Oh yeah, it's really tight, hold on. That should be good. One more click, boom. Just like that, okay. So now, we got ourselves a live bait out. We're gonna get up in front of that kelp bed again. And let's see if we can get fishy with it. Now we'll set up kind of like this, with our bow into the wind to a degree, and our stern going that away. But here's what we'll do. We'll get our port side downwind a little more. So that way we can lead with this trolling rod here, or I guess this drifting rod, just like that. And then I'll kind of work around with this sabiki and see if I can't get, I don't know, more bait. But yeah, let's see. All right, we're on something good here. Ah, keep that hooked up. There it is. What is it? Is it a calico and kelp or is it a big fish? a blitz and take but it might have just run right into the reef whatever it was might have been a little local black sea bass to run in the reef like that it's pretty unusual for other most animals in socal but blitzing take wow rod just spat out line for a second and then this happened i think i'm making some leeway hold on what was that Oh yeah, just a kelp monster now. This poor mackerel, look at him. So some definitely slashed him up, poor guy. Um, we're gonna bring him in right here. Let's see. It was a good take. I think I had my braid, my line pretty tight. Yeah, solid take, holy smokes. Yeah, I don't know what would have run him into the reef like that. Probably a little sea bass or calico maybe. Thank you for your sacrifice, Mr. Fish feed the next great catch. There's a yellowtail right there. Holy smokes. It was probably a little yellow then. All right, we got the sabiki out. We haven't had any bites on the sabiki in a while, so I went ahead and put an artificial on. But we do have the sabiki out in the meantime, so we'll see if we can't acquire some bait. But we were just drifting so fast. It's just a mixture of current and wind both working downhill together, which is good for fishing, but boy, is it hard to hold still. Gotta get that bow uphill, facing the wind. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. something just chased it up. Looked like a little bonita. We got one, we got a live one. We got a live one. There we go. Did he come off? Oh, he came off. Son of a gun. All right, I can't be pulling the hook so hard. I, I think I gotta slow the, the wind. More of like a consistent, slow retrieve in once I got him hooked. 
Like that? Okay. Oh, they're down there. Got them that time. Just a nice, easy, oh, this is, a, this is one fish. This is kind of a good sized fish. It's calico bass. All right. Not what we want. <laughs> so ocean white fish, kind of cool that they're coming that high up, but again, not what we're looking for. Kind of neat, but I don't think it's gonna help us get that yellow tail. So he's gonna swim off, live another day, make another dollar, get another shrimp or hook. Depends on how much he wisens up, but off he goes. Oh, we just got tapped right there. What was it? That was cool. A little biter. It's a good sign. Seems pretty lively outside here. That's the second in five casts. We've seen some signs of life. Definitely a good sign. There he is. Tight that time. Oh, that's a bone. <laughs> that's a bone. <laughs> uh, oh no, is it just a wily cuda? Oh, it's a freaking crazy cuda. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is the craziest cuda I've seen in a minute. Holy smokes, did you see the life? Oh, there he goes, easy release. That was so fun. Oh my gosh, <laughs> sick. I just wanted to show off my intuition real quick. Check this out. I just had a bunch of overhand knots with a piece of kelp. So that way it acts as a drift anchor and I'm not flying around. Because the current and wind are screwing me over hard, so. This should help a lot. Oh gosh! <laughs> that was sick, he's right there. What is that? Cuda? He goes a cuda and a, I think there's barracuda and calico bass in that little mix. That was really cool. It scared the shit out of me, dude. <laughs> that was cool. Whoa, whoa, this thing's fighting. <laughs> what do we got? Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Ooh. This must be a couple Max or a Bonita. Oh man, it's digging now. Holy smokes. What is this? Okay, okay. Nice and easy. It's head shaking like a mackerel. It just might be, is it? Is it? Not one, but two? Friggin' whitefish. This is the second one a whitefish too? Holy smokes. Two whitefish. Very neat. Um I could totally eat these. I don't know if I need to, nor do I really want to clean them. Although they may taste pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. Bony. That's what Tyler would say if he was here. Mm, too bony. So anyways, my battery's about to die, so I'm wrapping it up. Um, Saw some good signs of life. Saw a good sized yellowtail today. Uh, got bait, figured out that that works pretty darn good. So we will be doing that again in the future. Uh, otherwise, yeah, I'll wrap it up for now. If the wind calms down, I might go again towards sunset. Otherwise, tomorrow morning will be in my next ideal window. So stay tuned.